Welcome to the ship room. You're on the air. In 1864, Gerard Heinegan convinced his wealthy mother to buy him a brewery. Almost 160 years later, a new generation of smart women are still doing amazing things for the company. Please welcome Athena Siru, who leads the collaboration and advice of teams at Heineken International. Hey, thanks for being here. Hi, Brad. Thanks for flying all the distance and coming to Seattle. Thanks for inviting me. Every company and CIO is getting feedback from their workforce about how do you use modern tools to do your job. So when you get this feedback, mm -hmm. how do you evaluate which tools that you deliver to your workforce? First of all, there are, there are innovations and new tools and new features that are popping up all the time. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with. It's, it's hard to keep up with. And actually people, they don't need, they don't wait for the IT department now to tell them that uh, this yeah. is new or there is a new tool. Actually, they know before yeah. IT. And they bring it in often. They, yeah. Exactly. So that's why we have also embraced the cloud strategy, which really helps us remain current. So it helps in, in terms of the whole life cycle management. So by, by moving to the cloud, all the latest and greatest features are, are available through uh, yeah, th through the cloud updates. The second part of this is what I mentioned before about keep listening. Keep listening, evaluating the business That's needs and the requirements, and then be open to reassess the portfolio of tooling and uh, technology that we offer to our users. So we are always open to say that this is what we offer now, but then we, we find new uh, business need, new requirements, and then we can modify, we can adjust, we can take things out, we can bring new technologies in. Now you grew up in Greece, mm -hmm. and you work in Amsterdam. Correct. You're obviously very comfortable speaking English. Yeah. I want you to help me understand a few common Greek sayings. Let's give it a try. All right. Sukani ti zoi patini. Actually, the, trans the, the actual translation is makes your life uh, roller skates. Okay, makes your life roller skates. <laughs> okay, Which actually what? means that uh, makes your life really tough. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. Oops. Oh, you got it. Echo hasi ta avga ta kalathia. All right, I got it. So, I have lost my eggs and my baskets. <laughs> yeah, it means that uh, I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> have you ever mumbled that before yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's a very common Greek, uh, Greek saying. Vrechi kareklopodara. This is a very difficult uh, word even for, uh, for me that I'm Greek. It means uh, it's raining chair legs. It's chair legs? Chair legs is what you guys say it's raining cats and dogs, right? Yeah. So it's really heavy rain. Kaniti babsia. It means acts like a duck. Act like a duck. Yeah. <laughs> it means that um, <laughs> keeping it quiet so that you don't get the blame for anything. So keeping it really low profile. Ah, That's a good All right. one. Awesome. You recently started rolling out Teams and we were looking mm -hmm. at the ramp of how fast it's yeah. ramping. What got you interested in Teams and what are you learning as, you're, as you've been testing it and rolling it out across Heineken? We are looking for collaboration, digital collaboration capabilities that people can use and they can uh, exchange ideas, they can brainstorm, uh, they can uh, exchange files, they can call, they can chat. And this is what we found MS Teams a good fit for. So it also matches very well with the rest of our portfolio. So it's a, it's, it's a very good alternative for having in one place all the digital collaboration capabilities. And what's been the response of the people using it inside of Heineken? It also requires very robust change management. So just, 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 the tool, just the tool itself, it's just one more tool. Yeah. So people can use it and they can make great things or they can use it and change nothing and actually add one more tool on, on, on top of what they, were, they yeah. were already using. So what we see is that the real, um, the real benefit uh, is when the tool is combined with proper change management and people are modifying their ways of working. So they stop the old culture, traditional culture of just sending emails, which is much less direct, much less interactive, much less efficient, and they modify their ways of working. And this is supported by a good tool. You know, you and I were just looking at your ramp of Microsoft 365 across Heineken. Yeah, yeah. And in less than two years, you've deployed almost everything. It's actually, it's business is asking us to do that. Tell us a little bit more about how you help create business pull rather than IT push. The traditional IT, uh, IT organization is providing IT solutions and that pushes to the, to the business. Yeah, yeah. you and have the, to do this. And then you have to do it and then you have unhappy customers. <laughs> Instead of doing that, we have, we, have, we have a cycle where we are exploring 
all time the business needs and we are delivering we are delivering solutions that are fit for purpose for that reason we tend to give more options to people so we don't say we are not just saying that ah, you and can you, you can restrict, do it. you empower exactly so for a for collaboration this is the only solution that you can use however what we do is that we hear the, the business need then we define our short list our portfolio of solutions that match this uh, this mm -hmm. business this business needs and then our people can actually use the solution that much is better their uh, ways of working, uh, their uh, personality, what actually they like most. Yeah. And we see that this works much better than just saying that this is a solution, go ahead and use it, because yeah, because this is what IT provides. Yeah. So we need to provide people the, uh, the flexibility to just come at work, bring the device, bring the device of their choice, of their preference, because they need to love their yeah. workplace. Yeah. That's our team's phone. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see what it brings. <laughs> hey, welcome. You are on the line here with Athena. Who is this? Well, hello. It's Professor Tiberius Wainsworth with the Society for the Preservation and Advancement of Brood Spirits, Energy Drinks, and Box Juice. Hey, welcome back to the show, Professor. Hey, do you have something you want to ask uh, Athena here? Indeed. Heineken owns 165 breweries, which make 250 different beers, and as part of my increasingly important research, I'd like to explore the Heineken archives with my patented game, Brew for Folks. Tell me please, Athena, which of the following beers are actual Heineken-owned products, and which are not? Bring it on. Queen Dolphin, IPA. Nope. Fake. Desperado's Tequila Raisin. Yep. Real. Golden Pheasant Grapefruit. Nope. Real. Boa Constrictor Cream Ale. True. Fake. Gluten-free Cranberry Bread Lager. <laughs> oh, uh, false. Fake. Bison Super Strong Triple Extra Strong Lager. False. Hey, sounds pretty real. Yeah? Go, go real. Okay, brew. Real. Dandelion fig hard cider. That sounds like a wild night out. Uh, I will give it a brew. This one is fake. Turbo King Dark Ale. I will go brew. Very good. Nice. Now, for my final inquiry, I heard your organization has recently started using Intune. Please, tell me about it. We are moving more and more into cloud. And what we experience is that uh, in cloud, the integration of Intune together with Azure AD, it gives the most seamless experience combined with security. Okay. This is key here because security is one of our top priorities. Yeah. And this combination, it's, it actually embeds security into a seamless user experience, which is, which is the, the, the great uh, advantage of this. What now we are looking uh, is to, to, to further expand on this. So we have started with, uh, with our mobile devices, but as I mentioned before, our, our future, our vision, is to really move into a, into, a, into a future that is device agnostic, place agnostic, and it doesn't matter fr from where and what you're using to connect. So while we've been talking, there mm -hmm. actually the shiproom has a machine learning bot that's been mm -hmm. listening in and analyzing the conversation. And now we have come up with, or the bot has come up with, the 12 most important questions for us to end the show with. We call it the database dozen. While we're answering the questions, just to give ourselves a little bit of, uh, of challenge, mm -hmm. we're going to be decorating these authentic Dutch clocks. Which zoo animal would you be the least excited to ride? Elephant. What color of the rainbow could you do without? Red. If you could eat only one shape of pasta for the rest of your life, what would it be? Penne. In the pantheon of yogurts, how does Greek yogurt stack up? Ah, it's the best. In terms of nice dinners, which beer pairs best with cereal? Heineken Zero. Do you ever say, it's all Greek to me? <laughs> no. I let, other, <laughs> I, I let other people say that. Well, we're all done. Let's see what we got here. So let's, uh, let's oh, look at that. You went authentic. Thanks for hanging out in the shipping with me today. Thanks very much. Before Thanks you go, much though, if people want to learn more about you or they want to learn more about Heineken, where would you direct them to go? Heineken.com and uh, LinkedIn. Well, thank you again for being here. Thanks it is very such much a pleasure for inviting me. I, I can't wait to stay in contact more and learn more from you. Same here. Thanks I'm very Brian much. Anderson. 
This is The Shaper, we'll see you the next time. Do you feel like you're cheating on beer when you drink wine? A little bit. <laughs> how concerned are you that spiders might learn how to read? Uh, zero. <laughs>